Okay, so before this video starts, I just need to say a couple things. Hello. If you've never seen my face before, my name is Emily Robinson and I'm a 19 year old performer from Auckland, New Zealand. That's why my accent sounds like this, don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've been singing since the age of five, I've been doing musical theatre since the age of nine, and earlier this year, I was about to start working in the professional Australian industry before COVID shut everything down. This video is a progress video, I guess? I don't know. It's me showing you all of the embarrassing clips of me singing from the ages of 9 to 19. Let me just preface this by saying, from the ages of like childhood to early teens, like 14, I thought I was really good. I thought I was really good at the time. Let's be upfront and honest. I thought I was incredible and I wasn't. I was just loud. And then the anxiety kicked in and here we are. Okay, let's get started. Please don't judge me too harshly. I'll see you in a bit. I'm nothing special, in fact, I'm a bit of a bore. When I tell a joke, you've probably heard it before. But I have a talent, a wonderful thing, cause everyone listens when I start to sing. I'm so grateful, in fact. All I want is to sing it out loud. So I say, thank you for the music, the songs I'm singing. Thanks for all the joy they're bringing. Who could live without it? I ask in all honesty, what would life be without a song or a dance? What are we?
can be astonishing. There's a life that I am meant to be, a life like nothing I have known. I can feel it, and it's far from here. I've got to find it on my own. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the, me singing from the age of 9 to 17. What I'm about to show you was the worst two months of my life. If I've only been pretending! Oh no! I was cast as Eponine in Amici Trust and Awkward Music Theatre's production of Les Miserables of the Civic in March. In April, I lost my head voice. Just lost it. I don't know what note it was, but my voice was like... Uh, and I couldn't switch into head voice. Terrifying. So I cried for a few days, maybe a few weeks. At this point, I started getting really interested in my own vocal health because I was desperate to get my voice back because I knew that in a couple months from then I would have to start rehearsals for Les Mis. So I started getting interested in my vocal health. I bought a steamer. I started doing uh, salt water gargles. <laughs> I was drinking lemon, honey, and ginger tea every single day. I was drinking a lot of water and nothing was helping at all for a while, like two months, nothing helped. And I don't really know why I'm telling you this because nothing helped. It just got better on its own. I went to the doctor and I was like, hey, huh? And he said, I think it's a, a virus. You've got a virus, it'll go away. But with no other symptoms, I was completely fine otherwise, there was no signs of sickness, just my head voice, it was gone. And then finally, after months of resting my voice, literally not talking for like weeks, I finally got my voice back, slowly, very slowly, but surely. Um, it started off really weak at first, I could have my chest voice and my head voice, but I couldn't mix properly. It was pretty hellish and I thought I was never going to be able to sing again. Hi, editing Emily here. I just thought I would mention that after I got my voice back and I was in rehearsals for Les Mis, I was talking to my friend Bevan who played Angeras and he said it might have been like a mental thing and I kind of agree. I feel like there was a thing of like I knew I thought that I couldn't sing so I was like tensing up and stopping myself from singing. I don't know how to explain it but I feel like that was a factor like I think there was a big mental block there. Finally, my friend Gina was doing a fundraiser and that was the first time I was asked to sing since I'd lost my voice. And I did it. And I did it. And I got my voice back. I don't know how though. That's the thing. I, this is kind of a pointless story. It's just me telling you that it was very stressful and I literally couldn't even figure out how to get my voice back. It just did it on its own. Anyway, so this next clip is me singing at Gina's concert with her and it was the first time I'd sung since I'd lost my voice and it's a little bit rocky because I wasn't quite back to normal yet, but here you go. 
I learned so many things about my voice. I learned a lot about vocal stamina and how the more you sing something, the easier it gets to sing it night after night, which is how professional performers can do that. Um, but also, I learned something else. So my friend Bex, who played Fontaine, and I were talking, and I was saying how I was having trouble getting power on the final note of On My Own, and I have never known. Um, and she was like, it's because you don't belt. And I was like, sorry, what? And she was like, you don't belt. You've never belted. And I was like, huh? Because she's a singing teacher. And she was like, yeah, you're mixing everything. Blew my mind. So what I'm now struggling with is trying to belt without it sounding too shouty. Because when I was growing up, every time I would belt, I would be told not to use it because it was my shouty voice. That was a belt. Anyway, besides the point. It was pretty shouty though. It was pretty yelly. But anyway... I've never learned how to belt properly, so now I'm like trying to belt and really struggling with it because I hate the way it sounds because I'm used to like my mix. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm struggling with now. I'm obviously not perfect and I never will be, but you know, I'm yeah, I'm still, I'm better than I was when I was nine is all I can say. Far too late to sing a love song Now that midnight's come and gone there's no happy ever after I ran away Oh my man, I love him so He'll never know My life is just despair But I don't care Plant them and they soar Hear you want some more? Listen to the roar, try and find a score Well you can blame another I was petrified Kept thinking I can never live without you by my side Out of spite or jealousy But I don't steal and I don't lie But I can feel and I can cry A fact I'll bet you No, Papa he did not ask me to go. I want to go. I don't want him to be alone. And I want to help him in his work. Dos is dos gretze vos ich darf ton. Tate. Vos sol ich ton du sost mich gut verstehen. Herr for vos. Tu ich dos. Schein gleich. Bring him to me. Schmadon und gleich. Bring dir a ringo. Let's 
Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a fight, catch me a catch. Night after night in the dark, I'm alone. So find me a match of my own. Since when were you interested in a match, Chava? I thought you had your eye on books. And you, I thought you had your eye on the rabbi's son. Why not? We only have one rabbi, and he only has one son. Why shouldn't I want the best? Because you're a girl from a poor family. So whatever Yenta brings, you'll take, right? I had a dream my life would be. So different from this hell I'm living. So different now from what it seems. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's quite embarrassing for me. There are some things in there that I would rather not be on the internet, but I think it might be beneficial for people to see that and go, she sucked. And now she's okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye.